Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to calculate the circumference of a circle given the radius or diameter. So we'll go through one example of each, starting with a circle with a given radius. Now remember, the circumference is the distance around a circle, so the perimeter of a circle. We can either use the formula circumference equals pi d, so pi times diameter, or circumference equals 2 pi r, so 2 times pi times the radius. So depending on if you're using the diameter or radius, you can use either formula. You'll get the same result either way. And remember, the diameter is twice the radius, so that's why we multiply by 2 with the formula that includes the radius. And one more thing to keep in mind before jumping into our example, and that is pi. Pi is the same for all circles. It's a constant. Pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. So it's the circumference of a circle divided by its diameter. Let's jump into our example where we have a circle with a given radius of nine centimeters. Now the first thing I'm going to do is write out our formula and we're going to use circumference equals two pi r, so two times pi times r. And we're using that formula since we are given the radius. So circumference equals two pi r. Now we can plug in the radius. So circumference equals two times pi times the radius of nine centimeters. Once we have that nine plugged in for our radius, we can do two times nine, which is 18. And for our next step, we can write that as circumference equals 18 pi. So we put our number in front of the pi symbol. Now this is one way to write the circumference, and this is called writing it in terms of pi, meaning we can write our number in front of the pi symbol and put our unit of measure, which is centimeters. So circumference equals 18 pi, and again, our unit of measure, centimeters. This is called writing it in terms of pi. Another way we can do this is to write our circumference in decimal form using an approximate value of pi, since pi is irrational, and we're going to use 3.14. So we are going to use pi is approximately 3.14. So that squiggly equal sign that means an approximate value rather than an equal sign, which means an exact value. So we can write out our formula. Circumference equals 2 pi r. And then we will plug in. So circumference is approximately, I'll use that approximate symbol because we are using an approximate value of pi. So 2 times 3 0.14 times our radius of 9. And now we can calculate. So circumference is approximately 56.52 centimeters. So 56 and 52 hundredths centimeters. So there's how we calculate the circumference of a circle given the radius. Let's move on to finding the circumference given the diameter. For this example, we have a circle with a given diameter of 12 feet. Now the first thing that we're going to do is to write out our formula. We're going to use circumference equals pi d, pi times diameter since we are given the diameter. So circumference equals pi d, pi times diameter. Then we plug in our diameter. So circumference equals pi times our diameter of 12 feet. The circumference equals 12 pi feet. And that's our answer in terms of pi. So that's one way to write it. Another way we can do this is to write our circumference in decimal form 
using an approximate value of pi, since pi is irrational. And we're going to use 3.14. So pi is approximately 3.14. So now I'll write out my formula. Circumference equals pi d. Then I'm going to plug in. So I'm going to put circumference is approximately, because we're using an approximate value of pi, 3.14 times 12. So I plugged in my approximate value of pi and then our diameter of 12. Now we can multiply to get an approximate circumference. So circumference is approximately 37.68 feet. So 37 and 68 hundredths feet is an approximate circumference for that circle with a diameter of 12 feet. And again, this is an approximate circumference since we used an approximate rounded version of pi. So there you have it. There's how you calculate the circumference of a circle given the radius or given the diameter. We used the formulas pi d and 2 pi r, depending on what we were given. And we wrote our circumference in two different ways, in terms of pi, and then in decimal form using an approximate value of pi. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.